Well, we have confirmed that Israel was the source for at least some of this information. This was our intelligence partner. And at least some of the information that President Trump shared with Russian officials. Now, the White House is not officially commenting on this. We just had a, a briefing with Sean Spicer in which he refused to comment on where this intelligence came from. And it's worth noting earlier today, H.R. McMaster, who's the president's national security advisor, said when the president was sharing information with the Russians, he also did not know where the, so the source of this information where the information was coming from. This, of course, Brooke, comes against the backdrop of what is going to be a very ambitious foreign trip that the president will soon be embarking on, and one of those stops includes Israel. Now, one of the concerns about the president sharing this information was that it could jeopardize our intelligence sharing agreements with some of these countries. It's worth noting that Israel's ambassador put out a statement today saying Israel has full confidence in our intelligence sharing relationship with the United States and looks forward to deepening that relationship in the years ahead head under President Trump. So neither of these nations saying publicly that this information came from Israel, but sources are telling CNN that they were the source for at least part of what President Trump shared with the Russians.